Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your boy here. It's your boy, creepy dude. I see you here back with another video for you guys today. I sound like a fucking idiot right now. But guys, before we get into today's epic 10 out of 10 video, I just want to let you guys know because of all your support and all your likes and subscribes, I've decided to do YouTube full time. I'm gonna quit school. <laughs> Sorry guys, I can't say that. I'm not a 12 year old white kid with 10 subscribers. <clears throat> but guys, alrighty guys, so today I'm bringing you guys a different kind of video. That being a For Honor video, haven't done any kind of video on For Honor like ever, I don't think. And that's because, uh, you know, I was doing other stuff like uh, Watch Dogs and Assassin's Creed, so I really didn't feel like doing any For Honor. But this was a suggestion by one of you guys, the fans, the subs. The reason I wake up in the morning and if you guys weren't there I wouldn't be waking up in the morning at all and taking a shit today I'm bringing you a video on For Honor and the big question will it suck <laughs> I'm your host creepy dude and let's just jump right into this <laughs> For Honor is a hack and slash game set in a medieval setting and the game features sword to sword combat or hand to hand combat whatever floats your ass and the game also features a system called the art of battle which lets two players duel which sounds pretty cool I'll get into the system later but yeah the game allows players to play the roles of historical soldiers such as medieval knights samurais vikings within a medieval setting which actually sounds sounds like a really good base for the game now, let's break down the multiplayer the multiplayer is something unique sorta a mix between a couple of my favorite games like call of duty oh my god I, that was a joke that was a joke most notably the game features a capture mode where you have to capture points just like domination in call of duty and conquest on battlefield by the way the battlefield 1 beta is actually good <clears throat> but yeah back on track that has capture points in the multiplayer and the multiplayer has minions which aid the players on both sides of the fight they're not really strong against you and uh, the fact for that is that the developer said that you're an elite soldier and they're just soldiers so you can you can fuck those dudes up really easily that's a quote from the developer exact quote yeah minions are direct representation of minions in games like league of legends and dota 2 whichever floats your ass whichever one you like better because they both have minions in them that you can kill easily for points to help in battle just like in for honor now a downside to multiplayer is that the game is nearly in completion and it looks like there's only a few modes that are being added to the game. Like Dominion was shown at E3, it's a 4v4 match where players have to hold and defend an objective like Domination in Call of Duty. And then there's Brawl which is a 2v2 mode with AI minions and such. And then there is the epic mode, the epic trick shot mode, the 1v1 mode. Great for hitting some clips, you know what I'm saying? Phase up, you know what I'm saying? Phase up all the day. Use code CDI for 10% off your favorite gamma. Use code CDI for 10% off Mountain Dew. You dumb bitch. And then the last two modes are skirmish, which is a 4v4 team deathmatch, and elimination, which is like a no respawns, which is a so-called no respawns 4v4 team deathmatch. Now, if people are in fear of the game will in fact die over the course of maybe two or so months because of the lack of modes and them kind of being really similar with one to four players or whatever and that the game could be very repetitive with what it has to offer to the players more on that in a second in terms of how you want to play the game it's really done a great job in my opinion you can choose how you want to play that being a samurai a knight or a viking kind of like what bungie did with destiny to allow players to choose what they want to play and how they want to play and which play style fits them best so you can choose which one you want to use in battles and each faction vikings samurais or knights has its own four classes i know it's kind of like fucking exemption dude you know where there's uh, classes inside of classes this is some call of duty shit right here but just bear with me all right listen dude so there's the vanguard class which is a so-called well balance between offense and defense the assassin class which is probably my favorite because you know assassin's creed creeper do you know what i'm saying sorry guys i drank way too much coffee today and i sound like a dumb bitch right now okay i know but the assassin class is fast and efficient in killing enemies but with much less damage the heavy class is more of a defensive class and, and is best used to capture zones and their attacks are super slow and the last class is called the hybrid or the inbred which is a combination between 
all three of the classes so a plus from all this customization is you can choose how you want to play and how a lot of people won't be the same kind of class and will be in the same kind of play style which is really cool to know now back to the art of battle mechanic this mechanic is where players have to position their sword in a way to counter the other players in a duel which is a cool mechanic but could very well be overused to the point where you get into a duel and it's supposed to be like a thing to look forward to in a battle but then it could become a very common thing after many times so big thing people are looking at in terms of cons is repetition in the game the developers have stated here that is that there is more to the combat than they've shown but so far they haven't shown anything other than the co the common attack parry repeat and the art of battle system the only other thing besides that is in the campaign where there is environmental attacks like cannons and shit and doing a drop attack on an enemy hopefully shown will hopefully more will be shown this year before the release one visually awesome thing though is the uh what is it uh the fuck uh the head cutting shit you guys seen that no i ain't talking about your dick all right i'm talking about cutting off the heads of your enemies when they are in low health this is shown multiple times throughout the multiplayer and campaign gameplay at gamescom and e3 which is good to know that the game is in fact same on both multiplayer and single player and shit isn't different or taken out just like in the the call of duty uh the call of duty games but guys this game so far looks really incredible decide despite the fact that it will most likely include Ubisoft's signature downgrade. <sighs> but aside from that, it is something new from them and I'm happy that they went with this game and didn't milk the shit out of another sequel to one of their franchises like Tom Clancy's which is another game that's coming out or another Assassin's Creed this year. Judging by everything we know and what the fans think about the game, it's really looking great. If you like the genre of games, that is medieval hack and slash. If you don't like that, then don't buy this game because odds are you're not going to like it and you're going to bitch about it on Reddit. So the question comes up, CDI, do you think this game will suck? Hell nah. Hell no. I think there's stuff to be worried about like the UB downgrade and, and possible repetitive gameplay and the fact that it could die if there is not a lot to do. Like Call of Duty has multiplayer and leveling up and shit like that to unlock weapons. So hopefully they could take some aspects from those games. <laughs> Just kidding. Please don't. You smart. Subway eating ass over here, boys. Look at look at this wise guy fucking wearing some bullshit ass fake 